two runners will start off the Gavin Smith yard on Friday and they are Myers Cat and Natasha Rostov. Now Myers Cat moved up well to a point last time out and Natasha Rostov, she's got some useful form. New to the yard, this could be sharp for her though. Could be a little bit in the shop side now, uh, big filly. Um, but yeah, we'll run her close to the pace and get going early with her. Um, Myers Cat last time out moved up but he was running around and uh, there were a little bit of, uh, I'd say, uh, compromising down the straight, so expecting a better run from him. On to race two, and here we will see Flame Flower. Now, this is a tough little field, but she's not out of it at the weights. Yeah, her, her, her plus in this race is, is the weight notes. Um, it's a tough race for the top ones, and I think Sharon's fillies are really decent, so, yeah, we're just hoping to run a fair race. In race three, Red Centre will step up to the 2,000 metre trip, and it should suit. Definitely suit her. Um, a little caution, um, she, she's not a big filly and she's got a bit of weight to carry. Um, it's, quite, it's quite a tough race, but um, she's doing well at the time. In race four, the coupling of Jaeger Moon and Peace in our world, both are well in at the weight and both are holding competitive form. Yeah, both hard knocking boys, clean sound horses, nades. Um, you know, they always give of their best and I wouldn't leave them out of anything. Eh? Four runners in race five, and here we're going to start with Bold Strike, who's better than his last, and Basset Sana, who tops the best weighted column, being a filly in a classified stakes. Yeah, Bold Strike was, you know, he had a benefit of a good draw last time, but he was just dropped a bit too far back and he had too much to do, so expecting a better run. And uh, Basset Sana, she got going too late last time, and also from a good draw, she was a bit far back and just want to place her better, um, doing well at home. And of course, Global Gunner, who races freshened up, and Lord Marmot, who's going to try a little bit further. Yeah, Global's been gilded, and um, yeah, he's concentrating a bit better. He has had his gallops night, so um, you know, at the weights, he's got to include him in the quartets. And uh, Lord Marmot, just hoping for improvement, got a lot weight. As if on cue, Cherry Anno sticks his head out, and he's going to be the subject of race six, which is where he runs. Gav, it's never easy for a three-year-old as top weight in handicap conditions, but he does look above average. He is above average now, and he's improving all the time. Um, you know, he's done done everything right that we've asked of him and uh, stepped him up again and stepped him up at work and, and he's taken it in his stride and as you can see, he's loving life. So, yeah, expecting a decent run. He's got that lovely black mask on. He's looking really, really good. In race seven, the two fillies, Dame of Flames and Demigod. Yeah, it's a nice type of race. And uh, in the division that they are in, um, they've both got chances. Um, Dame of Flames just drawn a little bit wide and Demi God, she's done nothing wrong. It is on the turf now, although her, her nice starts of us have been on the poly. I don't think it'll be a problem. Three runners in race eight. Baby, it's cold outside. Baby, don't hurt me. And Splash of Green, who's another newcomer to the yard with interesting form. Now, baby, it's cold outside. She won well on the poly. Um, this is on the turf. It's still the um, you know, first run out the maiden, so it's going to be a little bit tougher for her. She's doing well at home. Um, baby don't hurt me, expecting a decent run on, on the turf for the lightish weight. And uh, Splash of Green, she's doing well at home. Um, she's got uh, form over a bit further, but she is showing nice, nice pace at home nights. In race nine, we'll see Cruzador, great run to finish in second behind Stronger last time out, and he'll race alongside Globe Tonic. Globe Tonic's a naughty little boy. Um, <laughs> he's an absolute brat. But um, doing well at home, he's just got to put his mind on things. Last time he was running around a little bit in the 1400s, so put him back up the straight again. And uh, Cruz is all very nice effort last time. Um, the type of division this is, he can be in the money as well, mate. Definitely will be keeping a close eye on Cruzador.